All right, we've got this generator problem, and it's given in terms of watts. You've got 125 kilowatt, 125 volt DC generator. Correct that up here. 125 volt DC generator. Okay, our output's going to be 125 volts at its rated load. We'll be doing our calculations at rated load. Okay. We're given an armature resistance of 0 0.085 ohms, 85 milliohms. You've got a shunt field resistance of 30 ohms. Okay. They want you to calculate the induced EMF in the armature at rated load, the watts <laughs> loss in the armature, the watts loss in the shunt field, <coughs> okay, and the total power that's generated in the armature, okay. So since we're talking about power, let's get some equations down here for these. Do we need power for the an equation for the power and the load? No. No, it's right there, right? Okay. How about for the shunt field? What do we have? Resistance. You've got your uh, your watts loss in the shunt field. That's what is watts loss? I squared R, right? That's your watts loss. And which I are we talking about? We're talking about I F, right? We've got I F. <coughs> Okay, good, I squared R. How about watts loss in the armature? Same thing, I squared R again, right? But which R are we using? IT. IT squared times RA. Down over here we're using RF for our shunt field. Keep all these R's straight and everything. Okay? Now, let's work from the bottom up here and talk about our current. We've got one, 15 kilowatts, 125 volts. Can we calculate IL? Yes. Yeah. IL is going to be P over E, right? So you've got 15,000 divided by 125. <coughs> what do we come up for amps? 120. 120? Okay. 120 amps. Okay? So that's IL, right? Yes. We have 120 amps. All right. Now let's do our shunt field next. Okay. What do we have here? What? We've got 30 ohms. Do we have anything else that we know there? Uh, we, have we have our voltage. 120. Because it's in parallel. The shunt field is in parallel here, isn't it? Okay. The 125 volts. I is equal to E over R, right? So you've got 120 volts divided by 30 ohms. Okay? 125, thank you. Okay, good. Well, you guys are awake this morning. So you got 125 divided by 30 ohms. Okay? What's our IF? 4.7. What? 4.166 amps. Okay? Now, IT. What is IT? It's all coming from the armature, isn't it? Mm -hmm. 
I-T. So I-T. I-T equals I-F plus I-L, right? Okay. So I-T equals 4.166 plus 120. I-T, 124.2 amps. Isn't it 124? 124, you're right. 124, right? Okay. So we write up here, 124.2 amps. Okay. Yes. Before you lose me. What's that? I said before you lose me. Okay. On the IL. IL. Yeah. You just took 1500 divided by 125. I put 15,000. Oh, 15,000. 15,000. Okay, I got 15 it. 15 kilowatts, right? Yeah, divided by 125. Okay. I'm sorry. Cool. That's going to give us our. Discuss. Yes. How do you know that 15 kilowatts is coming from that? Is it going to be the same at each line? How do I know the 15 kilowatts is right here? Because in the book it just says 25 kilowatts. Okay. It's delivered to the load. That's what we have delivered to the load. 15 kilowatts to the load. So shunt field doesn't get any of that? No, no, it's getting more. It's, it, we are generating more than 15 kilowatts here out of the generator. Okay. Part of it goes to the shunt field, and 15 kilowatts of it goes to the load. Okay. Okay? We're going to figure out how much in a moment. Okay? So we're up here. We need to calculate this. IT squared times RA, don't we? Yes. All right? That's going to give us our watts loss in the armature. IT is what? 124.2 squared times 0 0.085. What's our watts loss there? 1,311. 1,311 watts. 1, watt. Okay? Now, what else do we need? We need some voltage in here. We need to know what that voltage drop is because we need to know what voltage is generated inside the armature. Right? So this voltage here is I T times R. Right? Okay. You've got 124.2 times 0.085. When we come up with voltage on that one. 10.55 volts. A louder? 10.55 volts. 7.5? No, 10. 10. 10. There we go. 10.55 volts. Okay? <coughs> That's our voltage drop across the internal resistance of the generator. Okay? Now I'm going to have to slide on over here a little bit. Okay. So in your armature. We've got 1311 watts. <coughs> boss. We have 10.55 Volts drop. Okay? If we know we have 125 volts here, and then we have 10.55, okay? so we've got our EMF generated. Total EMF is going to be equal to 125. Plus 10.55, right? 135.6 volts. 
That's what's being generated. So the armature has to generate 135.6 volts in order to overcome its internal voltage drop and deliver 125 volts to the load. Okay? Yes. Okay. So if we look at this, here's your generator. There's your internal resistance, right? Here's your shunt field. Here's your regular load. The combination circuit. All the voltage is being generated here, which is 135.6. You've got 10.55 being dropped inside of it, and you have 125 at the load and at the shunt field. Okay? So we look at this. These two are in parallel, so they're the same voltage. That's in series with this resistance there. We add them up for a total of 135.6. Okay? All right? Now, Everybody okay with that? Where that 135 comes from? Okay. Now we go and look at our total power generated by the armature. Okay. Our PT, we've got the power in the armature plus power in the shunt field plus your power in your load. What is PT again? What's that? Power. Total. Power total. Okay? So what do we have? You've got power in the armature. We have one, three, one, one. What? Shunt field. Did we calculate that out? No, we haven't done that yet, have we? Well, let's go over here and calculate it. What do we have? Power in the shunt field, we've got 4.166 squared times 30. 520. 520 watts? Okay. 520 watts. Okay. okay. So you got 1311 plus 520 plus 15,000, right? PT sixteen thousand eight thirty one. Yes. <clears throat> okay, the induced number question A induced EMF in the armature at rated mode. That was this right here, one thirty five point six. The watts loss in the armature. This one right over here. 1,311. The watts loss in the shunt field, 520. The total power generated by the armature, 16,831. Okay? That's the total power generator rated. Okay? This is loss. It doesn't do useful work here. This is definitely loss. That's heating. Okay? And this is what you have on the output. Questions? Yeah. How does the armature reaction take uh, loss in here in this kind of? The armature reaction shifts the magnetic field, reduces your output voltage and everything, and we're not taking that in, into account here. Okay? We're assuming you have the armature reaction corrected by interpoles. There are no interpoles shown up there. Right. 
So we must not have armature reacts. Okay. Scott. So when you hear the term rated, that yes. implies that there's a load. And rated when you hear the term rated voltage and rated amperage. Okay, rated amperage is its full load voltage. I'm sorry. Rated amperage is its full load amps. The amperage at full load at 100% output. Okay.